war but we don't seem to remember the pandemic if you see what i mean so did people remember it and did the government mark it in any way afterwards given so many people died and got ill one of the very strange things about our research is that we found that there was there was no memorial to the spanish flu unlike um, the war memorials that we see around the country and the fact that on the 11th of November every year, we have Armistice Day where we remember um, all of those who have died in the wars over the years. Uh, there doesn't seem to have been any uh, memorial to the Spanish flu um, in this country, despite the fact that it killed uh, hundreds of thousands of people. Um, and in fact, all around the world, it's very unusual for countries to uh, remember pandemics and viruses. There's one exception to this that we've been able to find, which is New Zealand, um, a country near Australia, uh, where they actually did have a memorial to, um, to those people who have died. But that seems to be the exception. And we think that this is quite strange. Um, and we think that there's something about uh, diseases and viruses um, that, that leads people not to memorialize that. Um, or to memorialize them, that is to remember them. Um, and we think that our research suggests that this might be a problem because when um, pandemics come around every sort of uh, few decades, um, the lessons from the last one aren't remembered so well because we don't uh, memorialize them like we do wars. So one of the findings of our research is we should perhaps think about ways to remember this pandemic more effectively so that future generations will be uh, better prepared to deal with them.